Hey guys, thanks for taking a few minutes today to check out this video. This is a short video for those of you who are involved with leading and planning services at First Baptist Maryville. I've got a change that I want to make to our service planning process for 2019. And so I want to walk you through what that change is and how everything's going to be implemented and then give you some resources that will kind of help you as we make the transition. First of all, let me outline how we currently plan services for the weekend service. And we started this back in January of, of 2018. We started planning services with a team of FB Maryville uh, worship staff members in house. And uh, essentially what we would do is two weeks before a service, we would all get together the Monday, two weeks before the service. Uh, we'd take a look at what the message series was going to be that day and what the specific uh, message title and takeaways were going to be that day, and we'd put together a set of music that would be congruent with that message. Those of you who were available during the day and able to come in and do service planning, we reached out to you and, and had you come in, but f you know, for the most part, there was just kind of a small group of us putting those messages together, and it helped us stay consistent, helped us stay on top of making sure things were getting planned for the services. Well, for 2019, I want to make some changes that will allow all of you who are leading services to play a, a big role in planning the services without having to change your your schedule and and come in for a bunch of extra meetings for the for the weekend services. So here's here's what we're planning to do. We're gonna keep the same process alive of of the planning two weeks out uh, that we've done. Done, and we'll still get together as a small team in house to do what we need to do as far as putting chord charts together and rehearsal tracks and making the rehearsal videos that we make and sending those out, communicating with the team. All of that's still going to happen uh, in that two week time window before a service goes live. What we're going to add to the process is actually another week of planning. So instead of starting to plan a service two weeks out, we're now going to start planning all of our services three weeks out. The Monday, three weeks before a service goes live, I will reach out to those of you who will be leading that service. Many cases, it's just one person who's kind of the point person of, of worship leadership for a particular service. I'll reach out to you and I'll let you know that the service that you're going to be leading in a few weeks is now in the planning phase. This is your cue then to begin selecting songs that you think will work well for that service. Now, there are a few things that we're doing to kind of help you with the song selection. Number one, we're giving you access to all of the message series information for 2019. And you'll see a document that looks like this. And that'll include all of the message titles, uh, scriptures that'll be used, any takeaways. A lot of times we'll have benedictions in there at the end. And and uh, this is a living document, and so things get populated and... and um, updated and moved around as we go along. But this will give you one location that you can go to to find all the information to help you in planning services. The second thing that we're doing this year, and this is still in process, but we're putting together seasonal catalogs of music. And, and these are... 40 to 50 songs that we want to do on a regular basis in our weekend services throughout the year. So right now we're working on the spring 2019 catalog. We'll then do a summer 2019 catalog and a fall 2019 catalog. And like I said, these are groups of songs. And so that, that limits your choice, but it also ensures that our church is learning and holding on to good, rich uh, worship songs and hymns. Now, we are not holding on to those catalogs with a closed fist. We want those to be a guide. If there's a song that's not on the catalog that you think that works well, and or especially for the offertory spots, if there's a, a song that's even unfamiliar or brand new, those are a good spot to throw in those songs. So the catalog is a guide to help you, but also a way for us to train our congregation to sing better. 
So that's how we want to get you integrated into the service planning system without adding a lot of extra hassle and extra meetings onto your plate. In summary, we're really continuing a process of service planning that we started a year ago, um, but we're making it more dynamic by adding those of you who are leading services to the planning process. I've put together three resources that will hopefully provide some clarification on this process and give you a big kind of 50,000 foot view of what we're trying to accomplish here. The first one is a service planning guide. This, this walks through everything that we've talked about here. Um, it also provides a step-by-step -step task list of everything that has to be accomplished for our services uh, in order for them to be complete and in order for them to be ready to go live. This is your master guide and you'll see a picture of it there on your screen. Every other resource that I mention is linked in that guide so this is really your place to start. Now if you're watching this video you've probably gotten an email from me letting you know that uh, some changes are coming your way and you've gotten a link to this guide. If you're stumbling across this video in the years to come well then reach out to us and we'll provide you with the information that you need. The second thing that I already mentioned is the 2019 message series spreadsheet like I said that's linked in the uh, in the planning guide so uh, just take a look at it there and then the final thing that we've put together to help you out is um, a service planning timeline this has a list of all of the tasks that need to be completed and shows you a visual of when they should be completed what the time allotted is for them in that three-week window of service planning so Hopefully this is a little clearer than mud. If not, reach out to me and I'll provide some further details to hopefully make everything come into focus. Thanks so much.